guys, we're in Queenstown today and we are doing probably the most famous track here. We are hiking up the Bend Loman track. It's gonna be a pretty, pretty long hike. It's supposed to take like six to eight hours. It's about 11K and 14, 30 meters of elevation gain. So it's definitely a straight up, but we are excited to get it going. For the record, we are starting at 10.24. We'll see how long it actually takes us. We are a bit faster on Ithmus Peak, so we're hoping it doesn't quite take eight hours. Stop and smell the roses. Yeah, it actually smells so nice. Mark, smell this. Hmm, it's very relaxing. <laughs> Anyone want to have a nap? <laughs> Mark, we had to finish the hike. <laughs> <laughs> We've started on the actual Ben Loman track and we originally planned on doing this for sunrise, but then the lady at the DOC said that the forest, the beginning, very dark, and it's midday. She did not lie. It's like Mirkwood in here. Eh, Hobbit fans? Normally when you see a bunch of dead trees, it's a sad thing, but in this case, it's actually a good thing because they are trying to get rid of all these carnivorous trees. They're not native to New Zealand and they're kind of taking over the landscape, killing all the native bush. So for once, we're happy to see it. People adopt little plots of land to manage and weed and kill off the invasive species. It's pretty cool. Nicely done, Watson and Patterson Pitts. Yeah, so far I would say parking at Loman Crescent and hiking up on the, the skyline um, driveway or whatever it's called, uh, you go up through the Loman Forest, so it's super cool because not only do you see less people, we've only seen like two groups of people, but you also like hike by mountain biking trails and so you see people ripping by and it's really entertaining because some of the people here are like crazy good at mountain biking. Okay, we have pretty bad navigation skills. Get this wrong 80% of the time. I'm pretty sure tucked in those clouds there is Ben Lomond, and that's the saddle. So it's about an hour difference between the saddle and Ben Lomond Peak. So it is worth noting that the weather you're seeing above us and around the peak. <laughs> above us. Above us. The forecast for it was blue skies today. The peak is currently covered in clouds. Barely, but covered nonetheless. I mean, it looks barely from down here, but I'm sure once you're up there, it looks pretty covered. Yeah, that's kind of Queenstown, I guess. Mm -hmm. We got our first view of Queenstown. Way down there, just tucked in. What a beautiful location. Dang. Crazy part is, I mean, not only the view, but this is actually like right here. It's a mountain bike trail. It goes like all the way out to that peak. It's nuts. You gotta get me a mountain bike. We're, I think most of the way up the saddle. Maybe. But we have definitely been going at a slower pace up this part because, I mean, Self-explanatory. In true Mark and Alana form, we were sitting up there on the bench and I pointed forward and east over the saddle and was like, I think those are the Remarkables. And there was a local who was standing right behind us and was like, did you just say those were the Remarkables? And then we like turned around and she's like, those are the Remarkables <laughs> next to Queenstown. Uh, 
Sorry guys, this isn't the most accurate vlog. <laughs> <laughs> we have opted for a slightly less windy spot. The top of the saddle is, it's a beautiful view, that bench is amazing, but it's very cold with the wind. All right, now that the hat's away, I can talk without fear of losing it. I apologize if you can't hear anything because it's crazy windy. But what I do want to say is that if you're the type of person that doesn't want to like fully climb up a mountain, climbing up the saddle, you get like the gorgeous view, Queenstown down there and the Remarkables, the actual Remarkables. And then you get a gorgeous view of this range over here too, which I don't want to give it a name because it's probably wrong. <laughs> I've been calling them the Unremarkables even though they're still beautiful. Another thing to note, if you're not into climbing, you can take the guide lab and then it's only like an hour hike to the saddle. Yeah, plenty of options. This is what I mean. See, it's a little bit about the saddle. You have Queenstown down there and you already get most of the 360 view of everything. Beautiful. crazy risky at any point yet like I mean yeah you could fall and it would suck and you it would hurt but I don't think you would get seriously injured it's like right there so close a phrase that we try and avoid saying now in New Zealand is when you look up and you see the end of the rocks saying that's got to be the peak right because it never is never We made it up. The view from up here is insane. Like it's full, pretty much full 360 everywhere around. It's absolutely nuts. Also, sweet windswept Hasselhoff hair going on. <laughs> <laughs> Crushed it. How's the victory granola bar? Better than the previous two granola bars. We've had a lot of granola bars. <laughs> We are now back down. We're like just maybe two minutes away from the car. And overall, like amazing hike. It took us about seven and a half hours total, but like we, we took our time on this one. We went an amazing person who we hiked down with. She had done the PCT and stuff like that. So we were talking to her for a while. So we were in no rush. So you could no. probably do it faster than seven and a half yeah, hours. I feel like seven hours, like six and a half to seven hours is probably the average. But we had such a fun time. It was really nice and shaded for most of it. And then when it got to the more exposed parts, there was a beautiful breeze the whole time. So it's a really nice, cool hike, no matter the weather outside. I like that. Yeah, and Alana's leg was like hurting her the whole time. And she still like toughed it out and made it to the top. So mad props to Alana. Props. Super proud of her. Yeah, and, uh, I almost, I almost was like, oh, you know what? I don't need to make it to the summit. Like, I'll make it to the saddle, like a little bit above, and get the view. And then, it's just so close. It was, you couldn't say no. Yeah, you had to go. Definitely, and it was so worth it. Like, definitely do it. 100% recommend doing the saddle or doing the peak after the saddle. But we are, we're, we're fading. Uh, we're probably just gonna like chill and cook some food and stuff for the rest of the night. Mark so. has been talking about eating a peach for like the last 45 minutes. So we're gonna go get him a peach. Yep. And uh, we're gonna call this vlog Dunzoed. I hate that word, why did I use it? And uh, we will see you guys in the next episode.